It's a brief run through the boiler fault finder online system to help heating engineers do their day-to-day -day work. The first thing to note is when you've logged into the system, or even if you haven't logged into the system, you should always use the top menu here to navigate. So by pressing on the hamburger menu, you can see the various options. At first sight with the menu, it doesn't look like there's much there, but when you drill down into the different areas, you'll find that there's a lot more content underneath each of these menus. So for example, under boiler fault diagnosis, you click the down arrow, you can see that there's plenty of sub options, including things like general fault finding and system component testing for things like pumps, fans, thermistors, potentiometers, air pressure switches, flow switches, solenoids, um, actuator heads, motorized valves, diverter valves, thermostats, etc. So there's a lot of information under each one of these areas and worth going through each of these to see whether um, the information is useful to you on a day-to-day -day basis. We've had some very, very good feedback that the information is very technical and it gets to the point very quickly without a lot of waffle and generalization. So for example, looking under the electrical safety checks, you can drill down and see the various useful electrical safety checks for heating engineers. Things like short circuit, mains voltage testing, earth testing, and then you can scroll through the information, look at the components that will be affected, look at some schematics and diagrams to see how you would uh, manage a short circuit dead tech. There are of course lots of other areas under the diagnosis including links to your service engineers toolkit, uh, tips and tricks for the heating engineer, boiler condensation, uh, programmer and uh, time switch guides which uh, are very comprehensive and uh, just by clicking on these options you can drill down into each of the different areas and see all the various charts and bits of information that you'll you'll find useful. If you keep coming back to the main menu, you'll find there's all sorts of information underneath each of these, including things like sequence of the boiler operation with lots of cross-linking to relevant stages of the sequences that you can go off to and see more information. So for example, on the air pressure switch activation, you can see that there are some articles and you click on the air pressure switch testing, uh, how, to pre how to check uh, air pressure switches, and you can then read lots of information about testing air pressure switches and different settings that should be set. Anyway, I hope that's helped. Um, the boiler fault finder is indeed, as it says, it's dedicated to heating engineers. It has a PDF manual online as well with over 180 pages of detailed technical boiler fault finding information. That's not including any of the boiler manuals, fault codes, error codes and things like that. But that's over a thousand manuals. There's a free members directory allowing you to put your own details into the boiler fault finder. There'll be more details that on another video, uh, but you'll find that um, this is a free entry and we get uh, a lot of uh, inquiries coming through this system for people looking for heating engineers in their area. So a lot of leads are generated through the boiler fault finder system. Because it ranks very well on Google, a lot of people who are looking for heating engineers to service and fix and install boilers come to the uh, boiler fault finder application. Anyway, have a look through and send us some feedback if you can. We're always looking for feedback. Thanks again. Bye.